Hi guys, in this video, along with the other videos I've done on text functions in Excel, we're going to be introducing the length function, the left function, and the right function. And we've created a simple example here with a column in column A of last names separated by a space with first name of each individual. Now, the first column we're going to be using the left function to get five characters from the left of this particular text string, swick space mic. So the way we do this is equals left, the text string we're looking for, comma, the number of characters. So I said five, right? So we expect S W I C K to be included. And it is. And we can drag this formula down and then look at what we get. Hey, it looks, it takes in Klausa, it takes in Kemp, it takes in Baros, and Jalei, it cuts off after the fifth character, because we said five characters, right? So all these actually were, were short, the first names were short enough to be included by five characters, but the last, last name was not, uh, was, was longer, was seven characters, and only the first five were included. So that's interesting, because later we're going to come up with a problem where how do we tell Excel to find the appropriate number of characters for, the for, for that last name and take that amount of characters here so that all these would be complete names. In other words, these just happen to get lucky and bring in all five characters. If I were to change this name, guy's name to Clo, he would take this five characters would also include the first letter of his first name and that wouldn't be interesting to us as well as the l cases where the last name is longer than five characters and we're not taking the entire name okay so something to think about and something we're actually building up to in a further video on text functions which is included in this series of text function videos next we're going to do a similar function called the right function which is going to get us five characters, but this time counted from the right side. And so you see Mike gets included because he is four characters and the next character is a space. So it's Mike actually with a space in front of it. If you can, if you can kind of see that subtlety over there. But we'll see it more clearly when we drag this down. See. This guy's last name doesn't get included entirely. Sorry. This guy's last name, Miroslav, doesn't get included completely. Only the last five letters of it do, because that's from the right one, two, three, four, five. So everything else from here is cut off. And we just get a Slav. Sean gets included by just by chance. Milan gets included. And this Ardalan's last name gets cut off over here. Everything this way gets cut off. So we just get this. So again, useful functions left and right, but they need to be combined usually with something else in order to get us exactly what we need. If we wanted to split these two names, Swick and Mike, Jalayer and Ardalan, without cutting these things, getting results that were cut off, we would have to use the left and right function, but in conjunction with other functions, which is what these bit series of text videos is building up to. So be sure to get these down and then move on to those videos. Finally, the length function is going to get us, us the length of a text string. So equals length and in parentheses, just refer to the text string and it will get us the number of characters in that text string. And that includes spaces and characters alike. So for Swick Mike, one, two, three, four, five. The space is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's what we get. And for the last guy, Jalea Ardlin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Space is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So that's why we get 15 here. So as you can see, the length, left, and right functions can be useful, 
and we're gonna if you don't have a use for it already or haven't used it already it might seem a little obscure but keep following these text videos and they're gonna all come together when we actually tackle the problem of splitting names up and kind of doing the opposite of the concatenate function which combines to the contents of two cells into one we want to split and splitting takes a lot more finesse and cleverness and we're gonna we have to include a bunch of functions together in order to build that up but I think you can do it if you follow all these separate videos and uh, just just uh, just treat these as uh, as tools to build up to one bigger nested function okay so next time check out my other Excel access PowerPoint math statistics and other computer trick tutorial videos subscribe to my channel click on our sponsors ads that's what keeps these videos coming to you for free until next time have a great day